beauties how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today i thought i'd go ahead and share with you guys um my top five favorite higher end foundations i did the drugstore one where i shared some of my top five favorite drugstore foundations so if you are interested in seeing that and you didn't see it yet or anything like that i'll put the link down below and you can go and check it out so if you want to keep watching this video then stay tuned All right, so fur, 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 the heck's that, fur, um, for, for foundations in the higher end, I will have to say I lack on that to a degree, um, just because of the affordability sometimes with drugstore foundations and the way drugstore foundations are now. Um, the quality of them are pretty good. They're kind of um, stepping up their game pretty much. Um, but there is some high-end ones that I do have that I do use a good bit. All right, so let's go with this one. For the first foundation that I really do like, I don't really hear much, and I did do a review, but this was so much more long ago that I did the review is on the Coors Anti-Aging Foundation. And a nice frosted glass bottle. Does have a pump. Um, it's a really nice foundation. I would say it's kind of in between. It's like a satin finish maybe. Um, you know, it does pump out really nice. A nice cream. You know, it's pretty thick, but it covers really nice. Um, I don't know, I just, I've always really I've always really liked it, and um, it is one that I ordered from HSN, is where I kind of found it, and um, I do have their concealer, and I do like the concealer, but I think I like the foundation just a little bit more. So there's the coverage, and it's, it's a really nice foundation. I would definitely say give it a go, give it a try, because Coors, you know, is no, I'm trying to find my whatever here. Coors is known for skincare. So this is number one. All right, the next foundation, um, I wasn't really sure how long, well this was going to work for me because my skin is all over the place. Lately anymore now, it seems to be normal to dry. So I haven't used this foundation in a while. Um, but a lot of times I used to use it in the summertime because in the summertime I felt like my skin got a little bit more oily. And that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I would really like to try some of their other foundations. They do have a couple other ones that sound kind of hydrating and everything. Maybe they'll be better in the winter time. I don't know. We'll see how well this works. But um, now this is in the shade, I think, medium. And I should have gone more light but I am working with some products that um, I'm not going to quite get into full detail, but some products that were sent to me and it does change the color. Let's just put it that way. So this is more of a mousse type texture, if anything. Um, and it's always, it's a really, it's a full coverage. This is really going to give you full coverage right at the get go. I never found um, it to be too light or too, you know, anything like that. Now I'm doing it on the other side here. <laughs> I'm going to have foundations all over my hands. Now this one here dries down to more of, of a matte, but it's not flat matte. It does, I would say probably do the same as the cores where it kind of does a little more of a satin finish. It's not too bad for me. I had the worst luck with the Maybelline Velvet that everybody seems to really enjoy. I had the worst luck with that. That thing made me look like a cracked old lady. It just was horrible. Um, but this one here seems to work really good for me. And I'm hoping it still does. I haven't used it in a while, so. But this would be number two, Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. All right, the next one I did do a review on, and this product was sent to me, and I absolutely simply love it and it's from the pure cosmetics it is the hydrofluid um, foundation 
This is amazing for the hydration, for the coverage. This is a really great foundation. I have really enjoyed this using it. And now this, instead of it coming in, in a pump, um, just like the Amazonian clay one, it does come out where you just squeeze it through the tube. It is more liquid and it is more um, of a thinner liquid. As you can see, it will run, run down along on my hand here. So, but it's very hydrating, very moisturizing. I really like it a lot. It is definitely, definitely a favorite of mine. It is one that I can find myself grabbing quite a bit and still do. And as you can see, it gives a nice, that luminous um, uh, look I like. It just, it's really nice. Again, Pure Cosmetics. It, Pure Cosmetics is focused on natural ingredients and also skincare. So, I'm going to guess that's why. And my skin loves it. So yeah, Pure Cosmetics, number three. All right, a foundation that I really like, and it's from Mally Beauty, is her, um, what's this called? Al Ultimate, 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 Ultimate Performance Professional Foundation. <clears throat> I have mine in Fair. And it comes in a nice compact. It is more cream of a cream foundation. There it is there. And you can see this is a really great foundation. I love this one. In the summertime, it can be great for, it does do a nice full coverage. Um, I can do a demonstration. I don't know if I've ever did a demo on this one. So if you guys do want to see a demonstration, you can. I really like it. You can still get it. It is uh, at Alt, I believe, and um, um, QVC. I really like this one because you don't have to you don't have to use a lot. You don't even feel like you have anything on. You have some some. Can I even talk today? I can't talk. Creme. I was gonna say creme. Creme de la creme. <laughs> But this uh, cream foundation um, <clears throat> goes on full coverage, but it still feels light. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel like there's just too much on your face. You know, some can do that. Some really can weigh down, make your face feel like, holy crap, I got a boatload of, of um, foundation. And this one I really like. It comes with one of those, if you have the um, face defender and one of them Japanese sponges that she has, but you can buy those, I believe, at Ulta also. I know on QVC there's like a three pack, like 25 bucks or something, or two pack, something like that. But that's what you can use and you just dab it along. If you want to see me do a demonstration, let me know. I'll, I'll do that because I don't know if I've ever really done that for this foundation. And it is a foundation she still has. And it's in a compact. Perfect. You know, if you need a little touch up or anything. I love this one. So yeah, Mally Beauty uh, Ultimate Performance Foundation number four. Lastly, I love this foundation as well. I purchased it at QVC. It is the Skin Elements from Laura Geller. It is her Liquid Veil Foundation. And I really like this one. Now this one doesn't have a pump as neither. Kind of wish it did because the way the container is, it's kind of a, the plastic. So sometimes it could be a little challenging, challenging to um, you know, squirt it out because I'm afraid if I squeeze too hard, I'll get too much. But there it is right there. It is more of a little bit in between um, thin and thick. You know, it's just it's just right in between there, in between. This comes from her line. She does do the skin elements. She actually has uh, worked into skincare and the skin elements. I haven't tried anything from there. I think she has like a moisturizer and a serum. I'm not sure if she has a cleanser or anything like that, but um, just really really nice. This has a cooling effect. I feel a cooling effect that comes from this. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I did. I think I did do a review on this. If I did any reviews or demonstrations on these, I can put them down below. Some might be too old and kind of crappy. I don't know. 
So if they are and I have to redo them, I, I, I will redo them, obviously. Um, but this one here dries up pretty quick once you put it on. It does feel a little tacky, but I just, I love the coverage. It does give a slight luminous to it. Not much, not a lot, but it's just, you know, some. Um, and it's very hydrating, which my skin loves. And yeah, this one I really like. I don't know if QVC still has it or not because I know she ended up coming out with another kind of baked liquid foundation. I think I might get that one and give it a go at some point because um, I wouldn't mind trying some more higher end foundations and giving some a try. There's a couple of them I do want to try out, so we will see. The only thing is that I did get this in a shade medium. Why I do that, I guess I get nervous because sometimes they'll say, um, if you're unsure, go to the medium shade, but I should know myself better because I am more fair complected, but sometimes some of the colors can just set you off. You're just not sure if it's too light, but, um, yeah. So Laura Geller, the skin elements, liquid veil foundation is number five. If, um, like I said, if you want to see the Melly uh, Beauty one, I will do that. Just let me know down below. Let me know what you guys, like what, what your favorites in the more higher end. Tell me, give me some ideas um, on maybe something maybe to give a try or purchase and what you like. I mean, um, more for combination to dry skin if you have that or what your suggestions would be in the higher end for that, you know, because I want to try something else too. So just let me know down below in the comments. So anyway, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care and I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye-bye.